Hello families, I am Pastor Eric Totanias from CSEF Across Ministries. It's my joy to lead our family devotion entitled, The Power to Change. In today's Devo, we'll get to know more about the one who can empower us to change for the better. Here at Across Ministries, we value family discipleship. We understand your heart and the challenges that goes with it in discipling our family. In this digital generation, we are aware that it is not easy to lead their families towards Christ-likeness. But we'd like to encourage you that you are never alone. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the one who is with you to accomplish disciple-making in your family and in your communities. Here are points to reflect on. First, rely on the Holy Spirit in discipling your family. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 4-5, to 5, the Apostle Paul said, And my speech and my preaching were not persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. We rely on the wisdom to change from God's word, from God's perspective. It is not from us. It's really the power of God. Nowadays, discipling our children may be difficult because of the challenges in the digital age. But, always remember, do not make technology an enemy. Instead, use it to your advantage in discipling your children. In my case, I engage my children where they are. I don't make technology an enemy. Instead, I use it as a tool as part of my strategy to help me engage my family. We need to remember that we always rely on the power of the Holy Spirit in discipling our family. You see, God will give you the wisdom. As parents, He will give you the right words to say. The Holy Spirit will empower you to be a good role model to your children and guide you in all truth and wisdom as you walk in faith with your family. Jesus said in John 14, 16, Then I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept because it does not see Him or know Him. But you know Him because He resides with you and will be in you. If you hope to be fully reliant on the Holy Spirit and you do not know where to start, you see, it starts with a decision. A decision to trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. In that way, you can accept the free gift of salvation that He has for you. If you or any of your family members have not yet made a decision to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord, I invite you to pray with me right now. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord, starting today, I will put my faith in you. I accept the love that you're giving me, God, and the free gift of salvation and eternal life. Jesus Christ, be my Savior, be my Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer sincerely from your heart, you have now begun a personal relationship with Jesus. And be assured, that the promise of eternal life and the Holy Spirit is with you starting today. Let us pause and ponder. As a family, discuss some ways and means to be fully reliant on the Holy Spirit. Second, transformation is only possible with the Holy Spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, it says, the unbeliever does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. And he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. The Holy Spirit is the one who can transform our hearts from the inside out. As parents, we have been given an opportunity to guide and disciple our children. But again, the conviction, the understanding... To be transformed is the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Pause and ponder. As a family, 
discuss an important event in your life where you believe you have experienced the conviction from the Holy Spirit. Third, be intentional in walking with the Holy Spirit. In Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, we can read, But I say, live by the Spirit, and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. For the flesh has desires that are opposed to the Spirit, and the Spirit has desires that are opposed to the flesh. For these are in opposition to each other, so that you cannot do what you want. Again, as parents, we like to intentionally walk with our children. We like to see them grow, and we hope to journey with them in all the seasons of their lives. In comparison, our Father in Heaven is a relational God. He is not distant. He wants to be with you in fellowship. He is delighted when we choose to intentionally walk in the Spirit moment by moment. A constant fellowship with the Holy Spirit will allow us to grow and mature as we desire to lead our family to deepen their relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Allow your children to witness that journey of faith that you have with the Lord. Let's pause and ponder. As a family, think of ways on how you can intentionally walk in the Spirit. As we close this devotion, let us take to heart that the power to experience change in our lives lies on the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember the following. Rely on the Holy Spirit to disciple your family. Understand that transformation is only possible with the Holy Spirit. And lastly, be intentional in walking with the Holy Spirit. Allow me to close our devotion in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise and we thank you today. We thank you for the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We humbly ask for your grace and wisdom in raising our family and in helping us to reach out to those who need you and the saving power of your grace. We trust in your name and we thank you for your love and your guidance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us today. For more resources and information to help disciple your family, follow us on these channels. I am Pastor Eric Totanias from CCF Across Ministries. Partner with us in promoting Christ-centered families by advancing family discipleship across generations. See you all next week. God bless you.